Well, it's off to the store. I just completely screwed this whole cut up. I got to go buy a new piece of wood. That was supposed to reduce the height of this a teeny bit to make it not look so thick. And boy, did it miscut. It almost cut that whole groove off. I'm afraid there's not enough material there for it to be strong enough to be the front of the box anymore. So I got to go buy myself another three quarter inch thick piece of poplar. So I'll be back. One by six by two is what I'm looking well, for. I'm starting over on this. That is how you learn. I hate to say it. Got a new board. I got a spare one, so I don't have to run back to the store and get one this time. And I at least have already tried it once. So I know what I'm doing this time. This should go pretty quick. I'm only going to show you the end result when I caught up where I was on that one. Just keep it from being boring. So I'll be back when I'm caught up. All right, I'm caught back up where I was. Those of you with a sharp eye will notice something. These grooves are a heck of a lot deeper. I, misme I mismeasured them on the other board. So it's kind of a good thing I made that mistake. Now I'm going to see if I can get this cut the proper way this time on the edges. These are pretty thick edges. And by reducing it down by a little bit, it won't look so bad from the front and back. So let me get after that. At least I got a nice test piece right there to try it with and see how it looks. I've also decided I bought a spare piece of stock. So I'm making two and it's kind of a good thing because this groove fits the quarter inch real tight. This one's real loose. So I got two to choose from. Plus, hey, I make two. I got one for the girlfriend, one for mom. Who knows? be back as soon as I figure out what's going on with that and we're almost done with the um, table saw okay it turns out I wasn't cutting the other one wrong the grooves were not deep enough this is how it's supposed to look so now I got two pieces that are correct these just need to be cut to length and I got the sides done other than rounding over the edges okay now to get the top and bottom and then I am ready to cut things to length and we'll be ready to round over the edges with the router table. Daylight's fading fast. You guys can see it's kind of fading fast out here. Christmas lights are coming on on houses. Mine are coming on. Frosty's about to inflate. So is Mickey and Minnie. Hula Mouse will start dancing soon too. So I gotta get moving on this. I gotta get the top and bottom cut. Back in a bit. All right, everyone, I got all the parts cut. What I'm doing now is I got my router table out. This has a 3 8 inch roundover bit in it, and it's a quarter inch above the surface of the table. And I'm just rounding over the edges a slight bit to give them a nice rounded look. There's a little chipping going on here and there, and this needs to be sanded. All these parts need to be sanded yet. I'm going to do mainly hand sanding because they don't really need much more than that. Um, I'm now going to readjust the router table. And raise that up a half inch and round over the other side of some of the pieces, not all of them. I'm done with that. It's sanding, and then I can start putting a little bit of this together. I still have to do some other work, though, and as you can tell, it's gotten dark out. Let's take a minute and let's talk here about Christmas decorations. Here I have a nice blue glowing tree. You can see my mailbox is blue. We got some little snowman and snowflakes out here, a red tree. That's Frosty the snowman. I got a hula mouse. And yeah, she's doing her little hula thing. We got Mickey and Minnie here who need to be lit up a little bit better. Nice big snowflake on the house with some stuff trickling about. Just a quick tour of the Christmas decorations here. And a big favorite of some of my neighbors neighbors is Mr. Frosty here. But anyhow, thought you guys would enjoy a little view of the Christmas decorations. Now back to work. Oops, I forgot one thing. Girlfriend did the front door, so I need to show you guys the front door. I don't think she'd be happy with me if I didn't. All right, so there's the Christmas decorations. Hope you guys enjoyed them. I'm going to go work on the next part of my little project for the girlfriend's Christmas present. Back in a while. Well, everyone, here's a little mock-up. Well, not mock-up. Here's just a test fitting. Uh, the boxes I was making. And here you can see one. I've got a fit issue right there. And I bet some of you still haven't figured out what the heck this thing is. i got a fit issue there, and that needs to go in. 
And you can see here's another one too. These panels are designed to be removable, whereas these two are glued in, and this one here in the front is removable. And you can see I got some tight fits in a few places that need to be fixed. But all in all, this thing's coming along very well to me. Everything lines up perfectly, everything slides in perfectly, all my measurements were spot on. This one's a little short because it is a waste piece and I have some warpage in a few of my non-waste pieces. So I need to go buy some more wood, go figure, and get rid of the warps. But anyhow, just wanted to let you guys know where this project stands. <sighs> yeah, that's part of the project right there too. I need to get moving on it. I'll be back later. All right, everyone, we have here your standard shop drill press along with assortment of tools hanging on the wall. The reason we have a drill press is now we're going to start getting into some of uh, what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm making a night light and I got to cut out these patterns with a scroll saw. The scroll saw is still in its box over here. I just bought it. And before I can hit them with the scroll saw, I have to drill holes. The scroll saw has to have some place for the holes to go. These right here came with the nightlight kit. I bought a kit. For anyone who's interested, here is the um, notes that came with it. And there's a picture of the nightlight itself I'm trying to build. Okay. It's okay. I, I, I can show this now because I know this part of the video is going to be up after Christmas. Okay. And these templates came with it. I photocopied them so that I could... Well, make more. All right. So I got to draw out all these holes. This guide here tells me how big the holes are, for instance, and it comes with more directions than this. It gives me directions for a music box, how to carve the lid, a paper gripper. I can see some use for a paper gripper. I'm going to be making this one pretty dang soon, to be honest with you guys. And it looks like it's real easy to make. You know, and I. I know I have the skills to make that, okay? And it talks about how to do certain things. I mean, this was a wonderful kit that I purchased. And there's the exploded view of the nightlight. Here's the directions. Again, this was a wonderful kit. I bought this years upon years ago. I don't even think of, I don't even know if they exist. There's an 800 number for anyone who's interested. If they still exist, that's how you get hold of them. And they may still exist. But anyhow, it tells me right in here what size drill bits. I need a 1 16th and 1 8th for the falling stars, 1 16th and 1 and 3 32nds for the jack o' lantern, and the snowy pine is 1 16th and 3 32nds. And I have them because I've got four different index drill bit sets sitting right there. So I should have the drill bits I need to do this with. If not, I can ab lib a little bit. That's irrelevant. It doesn't have to be 100% precisely the same. All right? And scroll saw blades. Here are the scroll saw blades, and I need to figure out how big those are because when I'm cutting out this catfishing, I have to have holes big enough for these blades to fit through, or I can't cut that. Now, I've never used a scroll saw before, but I've watched many people use them. So this is going to be an adventure for us. Okay, but again, I have to have holes to drill to cut all this out with the scroll saw. The snowy pine, the catfish, and the names on these don't get cut out. Okay, just the shapes themselves. So I got to make sure I have holes big enough for the scroll saw blade in all these other regions. And that's going to be part of the fun, cutting all this out. So I'll be back in a little bit once I start drilling so you guys can see how that works. Okay, we're going to start with the Falling Stars one. I got the 1 16th drill bit in there. And I readjusted the height of this base. I can actually raise it up some more. I think I'm going to. The problem is I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera. No tripod today. I don't feel like getting it out and not setting it up here in the garage. Okay, so I got to, I'll be back. Okay, got it set up. I've already adjusted the speed on the drill press. You can see there's lots of different pulleys, lots of different settings, and it comes with a list of the speed settings right there. I've already adjusted this thing for wood, so we're good to go. Okay. And everything's set up and ready to go. All I have to do is hit the switch and she's running. All right. I'm not going to actually videotape any of this because, well, it's kind of boring if you ask me. I'm just going to get going on it and drill out all these holes. 
And I'm also going to see if my saw blades over there will fit through one of these 1 16th holes. I bet they don't, but it'd be really nice if they did. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Let me get drilling. I'll be back later. Just taking a short break midterm. I wanted to see if the drill bit's getting hot. Because that's one thing you have to worry about. If the drill bit gets hot, you're going to break it. And I don't want to break this drill bit. It's the only one 1 16th drill bit I have in all my sets, I think. Bam! You can see this is progressing quite well. In fact, I'm going to show you how easy this is. I just position the, the piece of board. Okay, I'm off a little bit. I'm usually using both hands, so right now I'm using one hand, so I'm going to have to play it by ear a little bit. You can't see in the light very well. And you just turn the little handle over here and lower it. Now that's spinning because I'm not holding the, the piece of wood, and I usually hold it by hand. Bam! You can see how easy that is. This is going really quick. That's not even five minutes worth of work. One other thing I wanted to say, I forgot to say this a second ago. These pieces of paper here, I glued them to the piece of wood using a glue stick, a child's glue stick, non-toxic, non-anything, washes off. The direction suggests 3M spray, spray glue. I know what that stuff's like trying to get it off the board. You're going to be sanding on that forever, and I don't want to have a lot of sanding. This stuff washes off of water, so I can just take the board in and wash it if I need to. I don't really want to, but I could. I also have this guy sitting down here, which I still haven't opened either. I bought it recently. And I know that'll take that off real quick. But anyhow, just a short little update. I'll get back to this. I'll let you see the finished product.